Hello, here's another very short brewing video. It's about how to make coffee in a Chemex. And here is the Chemex, because I'm not willing to do any edits here. So this is a eight, ha eight handle glass Chemex, and I'm just gonna do a little brewing here. Uh, I think uh, Chemex is, you know, people are acting like they've just invented uh, pour over drip brewing. Chemex has been around forever, so break these cups right here and we'll get going. The interesting thing that I'm doing, and yes, it's Bon Jovi. Um, I've pre-wet the filter, it's pre-warmed, it's an eight cup Chemex. The thing that I'm doing that's a little different, and I think the, the weakness is a Chemex, is the fact that you, the Chemex filter has so much surface area. Uh, it's a lot of paper in a Chemex filter. so. Um, I'm going to bloom the grinds right now, try to use the absolute minimum amount of water. I'm using a, basically a fine filter, fine French press grind. Not perfect there, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, I think everyone's, everyone's sort of thinking like they just invented pour over. And, you know, you can use a technique with a Chemex and get an incredible result. It's been around forever. Um, of course, it's different than the other pour-overs. It's different than Melita. But one thing that uh, you'll note about a Chemex, and I'll, uh, while we're waiting, 30, is that it's got a large opening. And of course, it won't focus there. But, you know, it's basically a pointy filter design. So you can separate Melita filters with the flat bottom. Let's grab one. Let's grab a Filtropa filter right here. Okay, notice the shape and that you have a seam down the side and a seam in the bottom. One thing with that is that the seam sometimes get interferes with the holes in the, uh, in the bottoms of filter cones. So what happens is that you, um, that you essentially change the brewing slightly because of that seam. I'm not using any great, fantastic uh, pouring technique here. I'm just going to basically do Melita-style pouring. But I'm going to keep the level fairly low in the Chemex, and I'm just going to continuously add water. I'm not going to walk away and just fill it and let it brew. I'm going to I'm not using a fancy kettle. I'm just using the Pinot. Um, so anyways, a uh, flat bottom filter. There's a flat kind of ridge line in the bottom of a... Uh, of a f filter cone, and um, but the design of a Chemex is very similar to the design of a Hario, where you have an open bottom, and so the point of the filter goes through that bottom. That means no seam interferes. It's a slightly different, you know, effect of this this type of filter. The way it drains is a bit different and um, so what I'm doing here is using a Hario a filter made to go with the Hario drip cones. This one is by Bon Mac and I'm using it with the Chemex. Uh, this is what I'm using and what's neat about this and here you can see that it is a pointy bottom is that it has a lot less surface area. There's a lot less paper used in this filter. And I used to think that the Chemex filter was thick because it kind of changed the brewing method. Well, if it does, it's not for the better because it creates a lot of paper taste uh, in the coffee. So what we're doing here, using the Hario type filter, it actually gets a pretty slow extraction. I'm using that fine filter grind. No real special technique, like I just bumped it right there. Um, and we're getting a beautiful extraction down below. I don't think you can see it. Um, it's something you have to be here to appreciate. So my mom's method, because she's been a Chemex brewer forever, is to just sort of pour a whole thing full and walk away. And I have eventually gotten to the top of this filter. As you can see, it is, it is a smaller filter than the typical Chemex, which would extend beyond the rim. But we want to keep the brew volume low anyway. So, 
I basically end up using it up towards the top. I just noticed it's a little bit not crooked. Also, that these weak filters will tend to go into the brew spout, so you've got to keep it a half inch below the top line. I'm going to stop the video at that. I think that illustrates the point. But I've gotten some... That's the, that's the pallet jack in the background, sorry. Uh, I got some great brews with this. Um, you know, a lot of people still have a Chemex. It's a fantastic brewer. Use these new type of filter cones. Um, we have these now available. Um, I don't think you necessarily need a fancy kettle to pour it with. I'm just using my Pinot kettle. And by the way, I just interestingly, I actually, on my other Pinot at home, I not this one, I took the spout and I basically bent it to make it more narrow with a pair of pliers. And uh, it it actually works fantastic. It's, it's got a lot more control in the pour. So we've made our point here. All right, another lousy brewing video from Sweet Maria's Coffee.